to all the guests of honor, bringing to all the members and the volunteers and all those young potential minds who are being here and there. Thank you so much. Um, first of all, I would like to thank Mr. Suresh for this podium because, uh, you know, to see an organization that runs for the students, by the students, and through the students, for the community service, as well as for the organizational part of the service team in this era is very satisfying. And uh, really, you know, I know it isn't a tough case for, for him, it shouldn't have been. But to pull this uh, and to use all these real heroes to do real time projects uh, and to create that to protect the community is really, really great. So, all the best. And so from the bottom of my heart, uh, I really wish great many, many more glorious moments. Um, so coming back to the cause for what I was being last year, it was to tell how can a youth or a youngster can change the world. You know, I know it's been a long day for you all, so this topic coming at the end of this uh, doesn't really make, you know, uh, you know, you get that cinematic and the dramatic effect when I'm going to tell a youth can change the world, right? Um, is it possible? So that's the first thing that comes to the mind without taking much of the time because I've still had a lot, but I'm seeing this will be the end of the program. I just want to draw out only four of them. Okay, just the four points. First thing, know what you want. Okay, so know what you want, what the society wants. There are times that these two points will be aligned to each other. You can just draw the line and go forward. But there many a times, you know, uh, you want some things, you want some changes to be brought into the world. At the same time, your parents want something, your mentor wants something, your counselor wants something. All you have to know is, if you are not at least able to draw a line, at least draw those coordinates together to make the big picture. The first thing important for a youth to change the world is to know what they really want. And the second point is, again, simple, fix a mission statement. For example, for Global Academy of Excellence, we have a mission statement stating that for the rural children in India or in wherever be, the aunt is served, should have the international curriculum free of thought. So this is our mission statement and we are striving towards that. Working with the District Institute of Education and Training with some Nadu, uh, we are trying to produce a lot of little effects using those 21st century learning skills to those children who definitely not know what is happening around, to the children who, like us, are being blessed here. So that's the second point. So align your mission statement. And the third thing is equip yourself. Equip yourself really, really well to the point that your professionalism should not be done by anyone and also you are the master of the subject in which you have written as in chosen. Okay, you are a subject matter expert and you are the professional in which written you have chosen. So that's the third one. And quickly to the fourth, I know when the first three, we all can get guided. Maybe from the mentor, the organization and everyone. The fourth important thing that we really train to do as a student, as a parent, as a student is you always we have to focus only on our growth rate. Okay? So not on the output. For the one that you do a degree to see the thing. The more weight it is, the higher should be more. Okay? So that's it. And uh, once you all do that, then I will be on the same like me to uh, therefore, you know, how can another you go? and we still want to change this work. And um, so thank you so much for this opportunity. I'm really impressed to see lots of I did not know, but I'm sitting here to play. So all the best to everyone, all the best to the entire future leaders for this time. Um, and thanks for supporting. All the best.